This monthly interview from the FSR comes from the Think Scientific Council meeting in Brussels. I'm here with Ronnie Belmans, Professor of Electric Power and Energy Systems at KU Leuven, Executive Director of the Global Smart Grid Federation and Honorary Chairman of the Board of Directors at the Belgium Transmission Grid Operator, Elia. Ronnie will talk to us about taking a global perspective on electricity. Thank you for this introduction. The idea is really that THINK as an organization, an academic think tank, is looking very much on the European perspective on how to invest, what technologies to use, how to organize the market. But there's more than Europe in the world. If you look, for instance, at North America, you see organizations like Gridwise, the Canadian smart grids, who are dealing with the market organization and the technology over there with a lot of emphasis on renewing the existing grid, changing to a more dynamic and more smart grid transmission system, a thing which has already been done in Europe, but at the other hand, much more emphasizing the whole impact of ICT, information technologies on how the grid is operated. So certainly we can learn there from companies like GE, like IBM, what is happening there. At the other hand, you see in Japan, big companies like Toshiba uh, bringing in new ideas into the smart grids. Sony bringing into new ideas into the energy grid. You see Korea bringing in new products that are exported to Europe. How are those markets organized? How are those investments made over there? Another part of the world are emerging economies like India. They are investing massively in the backbone of the grid. 1200 kilovolt lines, which are imaginable in Europe. We only can go to small, large transmission systems, being 400 kV. They are really thinking about wheeling the hydropower from the Himalaya to Delhi, to the Mumbai area, to bring in that power to the citizens. They have to still supply electricity to 300 million people that are not connected to the grid. And then you have China with the major investment in DC, things we can only imagine in Europe and things which are done in a very much planned way. So you have the market organization in Europe, the bringing up of renewables in Europe, down to or up to big hydropower, coal-fired power plants with huge wheeling of electricity in India and China and a lot of ICT in North America. Also in Australia, a lot of developments are done all developments are there in the rest of the world. How can we learn from that? How can we get that elements going? How can we bring that knowledge into Europe? And how can we bring our knowledge to the rest of the world? This is the real message I would like to bring to the Think Environment. Thank you, Ronnie. So the message is, Europe is not alone. There's more in the world and we can learn from it.